So my name is Trish Willey and I'm an instructor in the Bioscience Technology Department here at PCC at Rock Creek. So Bioscience Technology is really kind of all-inclusive, um, which is a group of uh, like companies and organizations that are all interested in um, biology, in science, and use technology to kind of answer questions, solve problems, develop drugs, better food sources, things like that. So it includes all kinds of companies, even medical device companies, that are making life better through science and technology. Yeah, so our students who are in the lab most of the day, um, they, they basically have a breakdown of classes, and the classes go for about four and a half hours each. And each one of those classes is based on doing specific techniques. So for instance, yesterday students might have done um, protein purification the whole day, which um, they might run columns, they might do all kinds of things to manipulate proteins. And they'll do that for a couple days. And then the next couple days they have a DNA class, which is what my students are doing right now. And there they might be taking DNA from bacteria or cells and actually trying to do PCR and some DNA techniques and actually clone genes. So they're doing that and then over the course of time they'll be able to look at their, the products that they've cloned, they'll look at the DNA sequences, and then they'll identify things about what they've cloned and how it might be different from other types of organisms. So they do it all kind of day by day. The projects, the projects actually take a long time. So over the course of a quarter, they get a lot of experience doing all kinds of different things that all come back together as a project. So we use a lot of great equipment in the lab. Um, when we do DNA work and protein work, those are things you actually can't normally see. So we have to use equipment that allows us to stain things. Um, we use UV light boxes, we use centrifuges, and we use a lot of equipment to measure very small volumes. We also use computers a lot. So a lot of the DNA data analysis that we have to do, we use with computers. So our labs are also set up so that the students have access to computers to be able to run software programs to analyze their DNA and protein sequences and things. So we try to mix bioinformatics, which is that um, the science of really understanding the information that comes in DNA and protein. So we mix that in with our class as well, so students really understand how it fits into the bigger picture. Well, in doing scientific research in general, it is a big challenge because um, for everything that works and for all the exciting things that are discovered, there's a lot that doesn't work. And people that go into a research field or a science-based field, they do it for the, the discovery aspect of it. But you have to be patient and you have to be willing to fail a lot. And so there's a lot of things that don't work. Um, and that's not really for everybody sometimes, but when it does work, it makes it all that much better. So it's, a, it's an exciting field, but there's a lot of ups and downs when you do research. Oh, yeah. Students, they, they come in really excited about the program and ready to learn, and when they leave, they're so confident, and they're so good at what they do, and it's really, um, it's just, it's a great feeling to see my students now, after they've been in the program for almost a year, know that they'll be able to go out and confidently work in a lab and actually make a real contribution, whether they're working at a company or in academic research. I have no doubt that my students will be able to understand the research going on and actually make significant contributions based on what they're able to do when they finish our classes. They're great. They're just really great students. Take two.